We propose a simple and natural data collection method called styling words to improve gesture recognition performance. Gestures have become a common tool for human-computer interaction because of its own intuitiveness and usefulness. But human gestures are easily affected by various factors, such as affective or physical body conditions. So gesture recognition still remains one of the most challenging problems in computer vision. It is a common way that uses a machine learning model with a large-scale data set to improve gesture recognition accuracy. However, it takes high human resources and time to build a large-scale data set. To solve the problem, we gave attention to the variability, one of the features of it. We propose a word-based instruction method called styling word that can be induced enough and proper gesture variability even though you build a small-scale dataset. To prove the effectiveness of styling words, we chose 12 Sondam gestures, a visual word dictionary recently developed to facilitate interaction between individuals having severe developmental disabilities in South Korea. And we designed 8 intuitive and abstract styling words to induce gesture variability. This slide shows the gesture videos without styling words. Keep in mind and let's look at the next slide. When the styling words are applied to gesture collection, it is easy to find out the gestures are changed. And in order to quantitatively measure the change in variability, we extracted human skeleton by the open pose model. With the extracted skeleton, we try to analyze it with specific measures. From the study of Batavu, we could get some useful features for the gestures. However, the features are not perfectly fit our data because of dimension. We redefined them and it is written on the slide. In the right figure, we show the differences among gestures with styling word type A, styling word type B, and without styling word. Each vertex of a hexagon represents gesture area, quantity of movement, performance time, average speed, body posture variation, body posture ratio. As you can see, for participant, features of gesture with styling words have much bigger variability compared to without styling words. Unlike what we expected, type A showed more noticeable variability than type B. The degree of difference depends on the participant and gesture. However, they show the difference on average. We evaluated the performance of the with and without styling word model. The evaluation was basically performed using the leave one out cross validation. And the number of participants was arranged from 1 to 20. The test result of with styling word model was 9.3% higher based on 20 people. In addition, as can be seen from the dotted line in the left graph, the accuracy of without styling word model of 20 people and with styling word model of 4 people were similar. This means that the styling word method can be great help when reducing the number of participants. And the box plot shows the result of each cross-validation. This also confirms that the generalization performance of with styling word model is more stable. Finally, the right graph is recognition performance by styling word type. Type A consists of more intuitive words such as fast and huge. And type B consists of abstract words such as elegantly and roughly. Before the experiment, we expected abstract words would affect recognition accuracy more than intuitive ones. But as shown in the graph, intuitive words have higher recognition performance compared to abstract words. This study introduced a more efficient methodology of collecting human gesture data by supplementing directions with words to increase variability, even when restricted by small sample size. And styling words also have potential to be applied to the data collection for extensive modalities, such as voice, touch, and so on. Thank you for watching and have a good time with Kai Conference.